In this video, I will show you how to create new workflows and workflow groups in Nyman Analytics platform. When we start Nyman Analytics platform, after the splash screen, we are asked for the path to the workspace. The workspace is a folder on your machine where all your work will be stored. So browse to an existing folder or create a new one or just accept the default workspace in this text box. If you don't want to ever be asked again for the workspace path, enable this flag here and you will never see this dialog again. Then you click OK. Once inside the Nyman Analytics platform, you can always change the workspace through File and then Switch Workspace and then you select the new workspace folder. The local workspace here displays the content of the selected workspace folder. Now you need to start a new workflow, which is what in other software is probably called a project. Let's right click the local workspace and select new name workflow or new workflow group, depending on what we want to create. The workflow will contain your data analytics project. The workflow group is a folder that contains workflows or other workflow groups. So let's create first a new workflow group. This one that starts here is the workflow group wizard. So we need to give a name to our new workflow group. Let's call it demo group. And we need to give it a destination inside the local workspace in the Nime Explorer. We can use the browse button to select the folder in the local workspace. Let's say that we are happy leaving it in the root of the local workspace. So Let's click finish to finish. And here you can find the newly created workflow group. As you can see, it's empty. So now let's right click this newly created workflow group and let's select new name workflow. This time we are creating a workflow. So we need to give it a name and let's say test workflow. Again, here we have to select a destination in our workspace. Notice that the default destination is the workflow group we have started from. So we are happy with placing our workflow under the workflow group name demo group. So we click finish. And now our workflow group name demo group is populated with one empty workflow named test workflow. Double click in test workflow opens the project in the workflow editor. The same two commands, new name workflow and new workflow group, can be found under file and then new. These two commands again trigger the new name workflow wizard and the new name workflow group wizard, respectively. As you see, the newly created workflow is completely blank. It has to be filled with nodes, but this is the topic for another video.